Greetings, welcome back to the outer worlds. Let's get... Am I in the wrong place? Oh, thank you. Of course I'm in the wrong place because I need to get over there somehow. It's back there somewhere? Okay. the hell? How did I miss it? Quest object requires you to enter a street area. If caught inside, you will be shot on sight. This is it. Security. I can check the departures registry to find out which crew chick. I mean, the scholar shipped in and out with. Okay, but how the hell can I get myself... Hmm. Oh, I can repair it here. How the hell can I use that? Oh. You have found an ID cartridge to use with the holographic shroud. You will now be automatically disguised when during an SSI restricted, restricted area. Okay. So once I'm. Close the door. Your holographic shroud has activated, giving you temporary access to the restricted area. Moving drains the shroud energy. When it runs out, personnel will see and interrogate you. God damn it! Now I'm freaking out. Successful so, so while sneaking. Damn it, I need to... Okay, we're getting out of here, out of here, out, 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 out. Hmm, so we need two more thingies in order to get in there. Oh, another codex, no. Okay, let's go with this one then. Yeah, we will get back once I get some... Some more thing is required to hack. No, I don't want to go for a drink. I thought there was something wrong with his face. Mm. Hack. Welcome, administrator. If Chief Guy told me anything, it's that the cruise mural is proportional to the quality of their outhouse. Okay. Oh. This message does not exist. Nice. This is a general notice about our impound policies. If the board impounded your ship, take it up with the board. Their embassy is the Goli building opposite Soblite's warehouse. Okay. Mm, exit. Go back to Byzantium, you gold plane. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of No. Hello. Just need to get through here. There'd be more machinery. Must be housed on a sub level. Hello. Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Mm, nice pl nice <laughs> nice place you've got here, Chief. No, it it's a mess. <laughs> okay. But it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Mm, I hope so too. I'll do whatever I can to help you keep the peace. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten the answer is just passing through. Mm, no, once I get out of impound, I'm bound for Monarch. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. Okay. 
Thank you. you. see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprouts. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different. So welcome aboard. Perfect, you want to talk to John Lee. Go ahead. What? I didn't think you just... Of course I would just... <laughs> Pravati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual... Real spaceships, Miss Junle. Uh, uh, Chief Junle. Junle is fine. Mm, no one need to be so formal, Parvati. Oh no, that's not her. Um. Okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if, well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe. I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Parvati, don't be shy of requesting time off if you need to compare notes in person. I silently ignored her. <laughs> really, no, just. I'll do that Messages. Later. Oh, your, your name's pretty too. I should have said. Sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. You're welcome. <laughs> other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Sure. Uh, it can well, it seems kind of warm in here. Groundbreakers radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Oh, why would why haven't you fixed them yet? Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. Is there no room for compromise? None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone on board, will be cooked alive. You need a contractor to work this out. I'm available. Reasonable, huh? <laughs> That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Got it. The, wait, the back bays? Sorry. I forgot not everyone knows this ship like I do. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned and a haven for miscreants now. Okay, I'll get you those parts. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Okay. Okay. Ooh, that's nice. What's up? Motor steel wrench and you. I don't... especially his face! I don't want to steal anything while he is looking at me. Mm, personal files... Back base. More complaints about the state of the bay. I already told the murders they're free to flash out Macred... Mac... Macred and his outlaw, outlaws. There's some noted up seeking warrants and paper justification that they want someone else to solve all their problems of the record. Sorry boys, not my job. Okay, the implications of your accusation cause my birth to hitch in my throat. I am certain that we can arrive at an agreeable understanding for what is a board Elison, if not a facilitator of handshakes between great powers, much like the board and yourself. When you do decide to return to the negotiation stable, consider once again the embassy expansion plans I laid out. Just truths of good faith do not go unpaid. The board rejected my request for new radiator parts. Again, even after I greased their will with some tar targeted donations. Funny thing, when I used my admin privileges to survey the outgoing scums, I noticed some activity from your office. You chose your words carefully, but I plucked a juicy phrase from the transcript. Let the frog boil a while longer. And now I have no radiator parts. You're playing with our lives. Did they install you on my ship just to get under my skin or are you pulling the shit for fun? Oh, that's closed. Yeah. We need so much stuff. Oh. Okay. No, I'm not gonna listen to that. That's some crap. Okay, solution vital. 
Yeah, let's go. Yeah, that's pretty close. Armory. And this won't show up. Oh, it does. Okay. Is there something different? Okay. Made your spaces choice when you signed the employment contract. I kept telling you, I keep telling you that the hat doesn't fit right, there's something wrong with it. How many people have worn this thing before me? Is this my life now? Because if it is, I'll take it, I'll be a moon man. But there won't be anything left for me to care. Are you okay, honey? Hope you're doing well, mom. Thought I would check in. Okay, does not really notice the hit. Oh, skin contractor, nice. Seeking ethically flexible spacer with stellar bail ending clearance. Payment in exchange for return of legal salvage. Details given upon acceptance of contract. Yeah. Don't. Oh my god, sorry. Uh, nearly choke. I know she's in there and. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene. Yo, you. Hello. I say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If yeah. you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Wheeler, wait, wait. Wheeler told me to tell you to get offices about the shipment. Wheeler says your shipment won't be coming in soon. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever going to get my service mechanicals at this rate. I could try to find them. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Okay. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla. An asteroid in the Charybdis cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. Yeah, my you ship is grounded. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. Come on, let me go. By the way, what was that about? Can we talk? What seems to be the problem? Can I buy supplies? Yes, and we'll stop. Without this sensation from Chief June Lei, I fear. Supplies are hard to come by out here. Okay. How do you mean? We don't have the ability to manufacture our own medical supplies here on Groundbreaker. Regrettably, we are dependent on the board for such mundane items as bandages and antibiotics, as well as more critical resources like adequately trained staff. Mm -hmm. We'd nearly signed a supply agreement with Anticleos, but they demanded we only use their branded drugs, and that's simply not tenable. Okay. Take care. Then what's with you? I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? Kinda. See you, Furu. We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. What's this about your friend? Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Ooh, maybe I can look in on Jesse. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. I can try, but where is she? <laughs> ah, is this no happiness? Wait, I also said that Captain. I know that's not that. Eh, uh, eh. Uh. Eh? Eh eh? Eh eh? Eh eh? Wait, what? I don't see it. Talk to Jesse. Oh, that's it. It's not that hard, you just have to get inside. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you ever wonder if maybe folks keep doors closed for a reason? Just to the last ratchet on rotten time. Leave me in peace. You whole headed quacks do know that restful recuperation requires not being disturbed, don't you? Uh Ali sent me? What? Why? Everything's fine. We're all fine here. No need for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. I'm just terrible, dreadful. Sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly, lethally contagious. But I'll be fine so long as I'm left alone. 
Uh, open the door before I kick it down. Let's talk, okay? I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. Okay. You uh ain't with the board, are you? No. See, I owe them a lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So I hold up here to lay low. Okay, what did you do? What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law abiding denizen of the ship, I swear. Yet you think the board has someone follow you. Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one. Assuming you want to keep breathing. Alright, I'll fess this part up too. If it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. Oh. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the Blood Tear Diamond last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. So you stole it. If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the med bay? No. I was gonna steal it, lined up Udom as my buyer, he paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Ooh. Definitely Anywho, I barely nice. made it out with my life and nary a plan to make back Udon's deposit I'd spent. Ellie asked me to help you, so that's what I plan to do. John Bedford's the board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. I'll talk to him. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. I know. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? Okay, then let's get wait wait. Don't know. Plenty of time still. This is fine. Okay, not going in there. Yes, and then you'll see a... Uh... What was that? Patient experiences unusual side effects post-hibernation after his latest voyage. Complaints of longer days and increased boredom, as if time itself is slowing down. I've never seen complications this severe and am pres prescribing a high dosage of stems. While I'm optimistic that I can address the symptoms, the cost still troubles me. I'm going to try reaching out to convey your crews and some crow Corpse dogs I know on Terra 2 for answers. Update. I've learned that interstellar crews call the condition skip flu, and everyone I ask says they know someone who knows someone who had it. In extreme cases, they say the person's body and mind break down entirely. Board medics, the few who bothered to reply, insisted the patient was making up to shrink their duties. I don't believe my patient is malingering, but how do I prove that when the board won't even review my evidence? You don't. Wait, is that a computer? No. I don't think it is. Okay, let's look for the guy. I can I still need two thingies to hack into. Oh. Organized, efficient, um. competent. You will most Hello. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. You must be the captain of the unreliable. Yes. I used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Captain. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Mm. Okay, I'm going to ring your neck. Alex is an important Peter Don. No, um, Alex is dead. Oh, no. Terrible, my dear friend. What devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, Alex, 
There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. What was your relationship with him? He was my dearest friend. My only friend. Okay. You have his ship, you must yep. know. Okay. A picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? I have no idea I didn't. Um, yep. Oh, that's just like him. Such a sentimental man. Tell me, how did he die? Can I lie about that too? He was alive by Feral Canids. Uh, yeah. No. Yes. That was always Alex's greatest fear, you know. Devoured by those fiends. Becoming one with their... Their droppings. Again, I'm very sorry, 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 but can we get back to the topic right, at hand? Right, you are going important places. Yes, you yes, yes. Big, exciting, important places. Yes. There, I've removed the flag. Thank here. you, that was easy. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go... No. Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? Uh, why? Uh, why is the board in so interested in Wells? You haven't read the posters. Mm -mm -mm -mm. He's a terrorist, a thief, a madman. It's really in the colony's best interest that we stop him before he does further harm. I don't think I know anything about him. Well, Alex knew, or he said he did, and you have his ship. Maybe he kept some records around, or a conveniently placed note on his bedside table. Alex never mentioned him. Well, that's just terrible news. He didn't have time to mention him. Oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else? I yes. Uh, okay, let's go with it's personal top to bottom. Uh, miserably, terribly personal. Is there anything I can do to help? <laughs> would go a long way. It's well, it's my white whale, I suppose. I can't tell you where he it's is. Fine. Really, it's perfectly fine. I understand. Now, if you've nothing else, please see yourself out. I'd like to drown myself in work. I I'm here about Tracy Doyle. Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. Okay, she's worth more. F she's worth more alive than dead. That's not unreasonable. Thank you. I guess it's better than losing your organs, but I don't know, Captain. It just doesn't seem right. Miss Doyle is deeply in debt, and the board has every right to do whatever they like to recoup that debt. What did I put her into? What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? Uh, why I say she doesn't have much choice? I quite concur. It's refreshing to deal with someone practical for a change. I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? Uh, I want to ask you something, I guess. Mm, what do you do here exactly? I'm the certified representative of the board's interests here on the Groundbreaker. And their eyes, ears, and busy little hands. That sounds wrong. Big fish in a small space station. I have few complaints. Can you get? Does it seem hot in here? Oh, but it's miserable. My underarms are damp. How can I be expected to work in these conditions? Chief Tennyson is supposedly looking into the cause, but I've seen no action from her. Deplorable conduct. My superiors will be hearing about it. You can be certain of that. She's doing everything she can. It's your people's fault it's not fixed, not June Lay's. <laughs> My, aren't you... Hmm... Excitable. Oh, don't talk to her that way. Oh, sweetie, I don't owe a grease-stained wrench jockey like her the time of day, let alone my deference. Take it back. I'm sorry, my temper. Thank you. Me. Please accept my sincerest apologies to you and your friend. Does that work for you? Oh, I'm 
not used to folks saying sorry. Um, it's, it's not all right exactly, but I appreciate the apology, I guess. Well, now that that's dealt with, was there anything else you wanted to discuss? <laughs> Why are there armed guards in here? Oh, you've noticed my friends. Yes. Wonderful. Aren't their guns very large? Tremendously impressive. They're here to keep the peace, of course. Of course, to watch your back. Precisely. Mm. Groundbreaker makes much ado about its independent status and so resents any board presence, no matter how benign. Cool keeping offices on their permanent benign. When the alternative is board guards at their gates, yes, I do. They don't see it that way, of course, but I can't say I much care. What are those locked doors in the back? A luxury stateroom reserved for Chairman Rockwell's use. Does the does uh, the chairman visit here often? Good law, of course not. He'd never set foot on this decrepit junk pile. As this office is the primary embassy for the board on Groundbreaker, corporate bylaws specifically state a room must be maintained for the chairman's exclusive use. Okay, can you get me to survey? Law. Who'd want to go to that toxic hell pit? Me. No. Mm. Emphatically no. Unequivocally no. Immutably no. No, it's done it. Best to be clear, I believe. Ask away. Anything else to be asked? Uh, no, I don't know. I don't know where to find him, okay? I'll probably get the password if I try. Okay, but that's gonna be it for today. Thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon.